Leh, the largest town and the capital of Ladakh, the newest union territory of the country. A trans-Himalayan region dominated by a cold desert spread over 9.15 square kilometers at an altitude of 3,500 meters. It has a total population of 30,870 as per the census of 2011. Additionally, a floating population varying between 30,000 to 50,000 throughout the year. The floating population consists of tourists, migrant labor, and army personnel. With the opening of the town to tourism, a significant increase in the floating population can be seen in and around the town of Leh, which is evident by the roads, streets, water streams, open pits, or any open space which can be seen decorated with waste packages from various brands. Once an eco-friendly place with almost zero plastic, today the town is struggling with all sorts of possible waste, especially plastic waste. The upsurge in tourism due to the incoming floating population is also adding to the burden with high consumption patterns and lack of responsible waste disposal. The lack of responsibility and knowledge of waste management and the fluctuating load of waste in summer breaks the cycle that should be maintained. On top of that, there is no actual quantification of waste for the town and standard rules are not suitable considering the fluctuating floating population. Seeing the urgency of this problem, the Dakh Ecological Development Group, supported by Borda South Asia, took the responsibility to map out the waste management system and its environmental impacts. The Dao Ecological Development Group Lee, with the border project, we have started a survey under which our team had proper survey of all the waste generated. So they, in future, they will have a proper data of whatever waste being generated in Lee and how that can be managed in future. So accordingly, in future, they can have a proper guidelines and plans how to manage all the waste generated in urban lay. The, with this uh, idea, so this survey we have conducted this year under the border project. Initially, we approached the concerned government departments for data on solid waste generation and collection in Laytown, but due to lack of proper documentation, we were not able to get the required data. Therefore, to visualize the solid waste management system of the town, a rapid assessment tool called Waste Flow Diagram was adopted. Waste Flow Diagram Toolkit enables cities and municipalities to quickly assess their solid waste management system and map the flows of waste. Permission was taken from the Municipal Committee Lay to conduct a survey regarding the following points. Waste generation rate, waste composition, waste collection, informal sector, and solid waste management practices and expectations. Following up with the process, the survey was conducted in two batches, one in the summer and one during winter mainly due to the notable difference in the population by the virtue of the floating population. 34 surveyors were given an orientation session about the survey. The session guided the surveyors through each step of the survey and provided training so that the survey would yield high quality data. Two days before the survey, households and commercial establishments were notified. For a period of five days, waste was collected every day from the predetermined samples of residential and commercial establishments. Every day, the collected waste samples were weighed, categorized, and labeled as wet or dry waste, and the data was entered onto survey forms. The collected waste was delivered to the material recovery facility for the waste composition survey. Through random sampling, we chose 30% of the waste. The chosen waste was divided into many groups, such as cardboard, low-density polyethylene plastic, and high-density polyethylene plastic. The weight of the various waste categories was recorded. To learn more about how waste generators dispose of their waste, 
A questionnaire survey on solid waste management practices and expectations was also undertaken. The sample waste survey and the questionnaire survey data were analyzed to bring forward the waste flow analysis of Laytown. Furthermore, this analyzed data is utilized to make a Sankey diagram to show the municipal solid waste flow, including the leakage of waste into the environment. The thorough study of this visual information helps in examining the source of all the waste and further work on reducing the same and its impacts on the environment. Through the waste flow diagram analysis, we discovered that nearly 3,645 tons of waste is collected annually in the town and 0.9 tons is collected by the informal sector, thus leaving nearly 5,473 tons of uncollected waste which ultimately depicts the leakage. To use the WFD tool in an effective way, one must have a good understanding of the municipal solid waste management system in the town. Any municipal solid waste management system has certain stages like generators, collection system, sorting stage, transportation and disposal. The waste can get leaked in the environment in any of these stages and therefore to quantify the leakages certain data requirements are needed. If the data is not available or satisfactory enough, then a thorough survey must be carried out to understand the current situ situation of the waste generation and the management in the area. Further, um, from the quantified data, leakage influencers are identified, which can be infrastructure or potential practices. Once the quantum of waste uh, and its management practices are measured, we can ultimately estimate how much of a waste is collected or uncollected, or are recycled, or disposed in the landfill. Identifying and registering the bulk waste generators and promoting on-site waste management arrangements would reduce the load on the municipal waste management system. This would also bring in more responsibility and ownership amongst the waste generators, and subsequently enable improved waste collection and management with the existing infrastructure. Making proper arrangements on time can help strengthen the town's socio-economic and environmental aspects in the long run. Thus, waste flow diagram enables the authorities to make informed decisions and create effective plans based on realistic on-ground data of waste management.